This guide is brought to you by GameLawan.com. Welcome to the Center UNN Recruitment Facility. Please watch your step when leaving the train. The ground shafts at the end of the hall will take you to the street level training and recruitment center. Please proceed to the grab shafts. So, the UNN, I want to be a soldier, yes. So, let's go to the government and to the recruitment center. And, uh, even in the 22nd century, there's still vandalism. Oh my god. Step into the grab shafts to proceed to the street level recruitment. Wow, that's cool. Oh, this is a little bit of the world of Earth. What's that? Sandman audio. Hmm. And happy noodles. Hey, there's one inside. And she has a customer. Hmm. Try optimum. Oh, I see more vandalism. Blah. And there is a little secret. Uh, there it is. It's a basketball. So, let's enter the UNN Center. Before you yeah. choose your career, you'll want to learn some basic abilities. First, you should go into the basic training center. When you're done with basic training, proceed to the advanced training area. Well, basic training is about how to run, how to pick up items, how to use the interface, and blah blah blah. And that's something I want to skip. If you've completed basic training, you're ready for the advanced lessons provided here. Advanced training will familiarize you with the three key areas of military service. Weapons training, technical training, and psionics training. Approach the Cyberlink booth of your choice to train in that area. When you finish training in the three areas, proceed directly to the recruitment center to choose and start your military career. Well, I will go through all of this, but I will do my own commentary to explain you how the game works. And that's why you won't hear any game sound. All right, wannabe. If you want to learn the weapon skills it takes to even think about joining the Marines, come on in. We're looking for a few good men. So I try to talk like this guy. So, welcome to this cool center here. And let's learn something about weapons. So we pick up our ammo. And we pick up the gun. And we select the gun by pushing the uh, key for the gun. And we need to reload the gun, so we push the air button. You can buy the controls how you want it. And there you have two choices. You can use the normal setting, which fires one bullet. Or you use the burst mode, which fires three bullets at once. So, next target. About energy weapons pick up the energy weapon you see it's empty and you need to recharge this weapon with a battery or you use one of these energy rechargers and now you see we have full energy and even this weapon has two modes the normal mode and a secondary mode a overload mode which overloads the weapon uses much more ammo but with one shot, you deal a lot of damage. Another thing new in this game is that your weapons... I show you this with the pistol. You see it's quality level 4. And you need to increase the quality level by using this disposal tools. You just drag and drop it on the weapon. And it will be healed up and is now level number 9. That's for the shooting. Good work. Now you're ready for the Marines. Take a look at the other training areas first before you enlist. They might just go I ahead. will. Let's use the technical. Inside, we'll teach you the basics of some technical skills you'll need in the Navy. Okay, the Navy. Well, let's see. These are 250 nanites, and nanites are nothing else than money. And with that money, you can do things like hacking or buying items. 
so I show you this now well you can can't enter the store because it's locked and you can hack this keypad and there you will see the difficulty is 50% the hack skill lowers this difficulty by 30 the cyber affinity lowers the difficulty to hack this thing by 5 and the final difficulty is 15 and it costs me 3 nanites and all you have to do to hack items is to have this knot in a row the red dot means you it's a overload and you can unlock it or don't unlock it but you see it worked for me and there we find more nanites and the next one is you may know it from Bioshock which is the next game of the series you can even hack this and there you can buy items and by hacking it reduces the prices and there you can get a lot of stuff good that's it you learn the basics of the technical skills there are several other technical skills you'll learn throughout the course of your career such as repairing items and modifying weapons. The cyber interfaces for these tasks are similar to the hacking interface. Before you enlist in the Navy, try out the other training courses. They'll be useful. Yes, I will. These are the Psy skills. Psy is something like mana, and you can do some magic tricks with it. And in the beginning of this walkthrough, I won't use Psy, but maybe I will do learn some Psy during the walkthrough. Inside, you will learn how to reach out with your mind. Do not let fear block your path. Does this area here remind me of something? So, Psy. Like I said, it's magic. And this thingy here are, is your magic. And we have to recharge our Psy powers. And Psy can be used by using this Psy Amp tool. Let's select it. And you have different magic skills. Psy Bull, for example. And Cryokinesis, which is nothing else than uh, damaging objects. And by holding down the left mouse key, you charge up your magic. And you can fire it. Take care. If you go over too much, then it's overloaded and you damage yourself. Now, let's use the Psy Pull, which is nothing else than Telegenesis from Bioshock. And we cast it, which pulls the items we can't reach into our direction. And so we can pick up the items. And the more Psy you use, the faster it uh, comes to you. And that's for Psy. Mastery of the mind is a slow but rewarding process. Return to this area if you need more guidance. Before you enlist in the OSA, it would be useful to experiment in the other training courses. So these are all training courses. And let's enter the recruitment center. Here's where you make your choice, soldier. Here's where you enlist in one of the three branches of the military. Once you decide on your branch of service, there's no going back. The shuttle will take you to a UNN orbital space station, where you'll receive a briefing regarding your yearly postings. Good luck. System Shock 2 is made of an uh, action RPG, if you want to call it that. And you can skill up and level up your character through a, a skill system. And these are the three brand branches. Uh, Marines focus on weapons. The Navy focus on hacking. He is the rounder of the three. And the OSA, I don't know for what OSA stands for, but it is nothing else than uh, Psy trained uh, employees. So uh, my choice for this walkthrough and the choice of everyone that made a Let's Play for it already 
is the Navy because it's the all-rounder of the team so we go into the Navy and I would say I cut the video and we will see us in our three years long career in the UNN. See ya.